Hi, this is Ellen from Rent Roll Starter. Today I wanted to share one final tip with you about how I manage to work in real estate and run my rent roll without an office. So in previous videos I've shared with you some information about using your website as your virtual shop front, using your phone system to establish um, the perception of being a larger, more established office by using a landline and outsourcing your receptionist service. I've spoken to you about how I used a PO box and a virtual office to make my business appear more established and in a prestige location. I've also shared with you some information about how valuable it is to use cloud-based systems uh, and how I use cloud-based cloud systems in my office to, be allow, to allow me to um, work from anywhere and also hire staff from anywhere. Now my final tip today is not about software or practical tangible things but it's more about maintaining a routine because if you're working for yourself and especially if you're working from home largely I feel that having a routine is really important. So I'm just going to share with you my routine for the day and how I used to run my rent roll uh, when I was working from home so that you can perhaps take some of those ideas and make them your own as well. So take the ideas that work for you and disregard the ones that don't. So for me, I, I always had the routine of getting up each day, getting dressed as though I was going out to work. Even if I wasn't going to be seeing clients that day, I would still get dressed in my uniform or whatever it was that I was wearing for the day. Um, so that I was dressed as though I was meeting with clients, even if I wasn't. I would head into my office, which was my third bedroom in my home, and it was completely set up as an office. I had my own desk, I had my printer and my filing cabinet, and it was all completely set up to be a proper office for me. So um, 9 o'clock I would be in the office, I would be fully dressed, and I would be carrying out the business of running my business. I didn't have a dedicated lunch hour, but to be honest, even when I worked for somebody else, I didn't always have a particular lunch hour. I just sort of ate when I had a little gap. Um, so that was probably a bit of a downfall for me. I, Looking back, I probably would have done that a little bit differently and scheduled a particular time each day, even if it was only 30 minutes, to actually step out of the office to eat a meal, to be away from the screen, just to have a little bit of a break. I think that would have been really beneficial and if I was to do it again, that's probably what I would do. And certainly in the business that I run now, Red Roll Starter, when it's time for me to have lunch, I do step out of my office um, and put the screen away and just try and be present and eat my meal uh, so that I'm having a proper break throughout the day. Um, I would then spend all afternoon working as well and when it was knock-off time, which for me was five o'clock, I would down tools, assuming I was finished for the day. Some, some days I did work late and that's just part of being in business for yourself and sometimes it's just part of being in property management. But when I was finished for the day, I would shut down my computer, turn everything off, lock the filing cabinet, and then when I left my office, which is my third bedroom, I would actually pull the door shut behind me and that signified leaving my office and coming back home to be at home. And I found that really effective, that I could shut the door and then I knew that that was the end of my work day and the start of my home life. And so I became quite disciplined about making sure that I did not check emails on my phone. In fact, I turned emails off to my phone at night so that they wouldn't come through. Uh, if I did get the occasional phone call or text from a client after hours, which was really, really rare, I didn't respond to it until the next day. So I made it quite clear that when I was at work, I was at work, and when I was at home, I was at home. Just like I would with a normal job. Now when you're the owner of the business, sometimes you tend to be a bit more flexible with your clients, and sometimes you do have to work slightly long out, longer hours to get everything done. And that's just part of growing a business. However, I found it really important to signify when the end of my work day was done. So even if I'd done a longer day, at the end of the day, everything got shut down and the door got pulled as though I was leaving the office for the day. So that's just my tip about having a routine for work, especially when you're working for yourself and especially when you're working from home. 
Um, I found it valuable to have that little routine when it felt like I was actually going to work then. Because it, when I was running my rent roll, that was the first time I had run a business from home, so it was important for me to establish routines that I could maintain um, so that I was effective and efficient as well. So I'd love to hear from you. If you worked from home or worked from outside of an office, what are your routines for the day? How do you manage your day to make sure that you stay focused and when you get home you actually get to be at home? I'd love to hear from you if you want to leave some comments in the comments section below and let us know what do you do to manage your day when you work from home. If you've got any questions about this or anything else in relation to starting a rent roll, feel free to drop us a line. You can find us at rentrollstarter.com.au. My name's Ellen and I'm from Red Roll Starter and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. See you soon, bye!